So getting some of my taxes done and I do not have a good system. There's paper receipts in here and either the cranky cameraman just made a video about this or it's coming out soon, but really looking forward to how he utilizes QuickBooks because I could definitely clean up the organization on my taxes. But I wanted to talk about something that not a lot of people talk about and that's just what I get paid. Um, I think it's always nice to have some authenticity and transparency and information. Um, so if I'm with my friends, I don't mind telling them what I make or I'm curious about what they make. So just to get into it, uh, 2019, the total gross receipts was 39,000. So that does not include any expenses or food while traveling or any camera gear, all that stuff, but 39,000 and then um, in 2020, COVID went down to 29,000. So a uh, pretty big $10,000 reduction. And then, especially cause I'm, I work a lot in the event, event space for corporate work. So that was extremely impacted. And then 2021 got a lot better. Um, so it went to 55,000. Same, does not include any expenses or anything like that. And then this year, uh, I am happy to say that it's still con trending upwards and um, it's at 75,000. Now the interesting part about this is it's a very large increase in income and a substantial decrease in the amount of days worked. And that is coming from the types of jobs that I'm getting. They are higher ticket item jobs and less frequent. I know if I put more effort into it, I can I can eventually hit that, that six figures mark, possibly even this year. So I know money is a taboo subject, but if you guys uh, want to discuss it in the comments, I'm more than welcome to. And you know, as always, I can get into the nitty gritty uh, during a consultation call if, if that's uh, something of value to you guys. I wanted to find the exact numbers. So between 2021 and 2022, I had a 36% increase in income and a 33% decrease in days worked. And if you're curious about what those actual days are, um, 2021 was 156 days worked and then 2022 was 104 days worked. So I know a lot of people are wondering how many days do you work as a freelancer? Well, it's all over the place because a lot of these jobs are single day and then some of them are week long jobs. But this should help you guys get a, just one more perspective of how freelancing works for someone because it's all different for every single person. Um, but these are my numbers. The next meetup for my Orlando filmmaker group is this Wednesday, April 19th at the whole enchilada rooftop bar. This is the second time we've been there. had a great turnout the first time. If anybody wants to make the drive, it's an open invite to meet some other filmmakers here in Central Florida. The task for today is to go through all of these old hard drives, and by old I mean from last year, grab the footage that is the best and make a reel for 2022 to put out now. So Florida's getting toasty. That means more beach days, more spring days, river days. But I was looking at how many days I've worked. I've had six days of work in the past five weeks, which is not ideal. And uh, my next day of work is not this week, but next week. So I am still trying to bring in as many corporate leads as possible. And I did just re-up on my Production Hub membership and I'll be able to add a few more categories, which should really help um, just widen the net and get as many clients as possible because while income is good enough, um, I would definitely like to be working more. A lot of empty, empty time. Don't risk it here in Orlando. They'll get you quick. Told you, there's another one. If you're not familiar with Publix, a chicken tender pub sub and a sweet tea is the Florida experience. I swear, they're ruthless. Look at that. 
another good morning and another cranky cameraman vlog this one's really really insightful if you are a working professional he's going over how he itemizes gear charges for time the rate card that he sends to a new prospective client very very uh useful information in his most recent recent vlog if you haven't checked out his channel the cranky cameraman i highly recommend you do if you edit in coffee shops a lot you know that it can get pretty expensive so a lot of times what i'll do is i'll just make my coffee beforehand and save myself the six bucks that it costs to get a latte um and then i can get food which is a lot better for the price and honestly the coffee usually tastes better when i make it i've gone through every hard drive and we have 22 minutes of raw footage on the table so i'm calling that and we're getting it down to about three minutes and I'm segmenting this so I can see uh, what different genres of video production I'm, I'm leaning into. So mostly it's going to be this one. That's going to be corporate interview and B-roll. But it's also good to see some of the other sections. So this one, for example, is outdoor, scenics, exteriors type of work. And then it moves into conferences, trade shows, step and repeats, and then the... Um, bulk of the work is these corporate interviews, sit down executives or um, spokesmen. You guys might have remembered some of these throughout all the vlogs. This is all the work from from 2022, and uh, I like how it's turning out. So the the new thing that I'm moving into with just from corporate interviews is the high quality interview slash b-roll package so something like this where i can grab um great looking b-roll for the story whether it's a brand film or um you know on-site remote location interviews with b-roll to pair and then this is some random warehouse type of stuff and then we move into uh this is the resort work in the bahamas that was obviously a really fun shoot. I don't know if I ever got to show you guys this, but um, this was this was a, a dream come true type of shoot. And it, it really, really um, was, how do I say, satisfying or fulfilling to be able to do. I've been wanting to shoot um, this type of stuff for a long time. And then this is the Rolling Loud work. So, you know, working with high profile celebrities and you know, getting intimate space with them, not just shooting from the pit. That's one of the organizers for Rolling Loud. And um, let's see what else we got here. A little Dirk. And then just some random stuff. Uh, I don't really want to lean too much in the fighting game since I have a good connection there. And then some social media uh, vertical work. So I need to find a song and piece all this together into uh, ideally a 60 second type of portfolio reel and just have an updated version on uh, the level of quality that I can provide clients and the types of areas um, that I want to continue working in. So that'll be out soon. Just kidding, it's up now, it's live, I just posted it. All of last year's work put into 60 seconds and it's new marketing material for me. So any new clients that come in, I can give them examples of my most recent highest quality work. Have you guys made your reel?